Good afternoon. <laughs> really that, the same was, time that, that was really quick. No, still that still catches me out now that it's so quick, doesn't it? It's like I know. And I would, I would on my phone there. I was just getting all excited, getting ready. I know. We're having a look to see who's already on. They're we already are on indeed. In drove, so, so hello and welcome to the Monday, the sixteenth of December at mm. what time are we at? Craig? Uh, so what, four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yeah, it four is. o'clock already. It's coming to the so, end of the day. It's still a couple of hours left anyway for there us. Is. We've got a wee while to go. We've got a great couple of hours. It's going to be good. It's going mm -hmm. to be really good. A um, lot of fun. Yes. Festiveness going festive. on. A bit of festiveness going on. I want it to be on. fun because this is actually my last live before Christmas. Oh, bless you. It is. I know. Oh. This is because I'm heading down the motorway. Uh, I'll be on uh, TV this yes. week. Uh, <laughs> more about that later on. But um, yeah, so this is my last live. So oh, lovely. Well, it's not, before it's Christmas. Not mine. not mine. I've got one more to go. You've got no, I've not. I've got two more to You've go. You've two more to go. Two more to go, yes, yes. Two so. more to go, yeah. So, so yes, so fun. welcome to Monday Makers, because this is what we are. And Monday Makers is all about some crafty inspiration, crafty fun, some great deals. And we have got some great we deals We really today. do. Really we do. We've got a wide selection. I think, should we just go straight in? Go See on. what's coming up. Why not? Let's do it. Let's well, do it. <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, yes. Oh. oh. Nearly. Have you seen me hugging Just my Christmas? Just about, I know. Have you seen me hugging my Christmas sack? I have. Well, I got that's a little bit excited. Oh, you do want to know what's in this? Do you want yeah. to know what's in this? So let me show. Shall we just explain what we Let's have to do, do yeah. first? Go because this is not just a festive sag that I am literally going to keep for myself. This bag full, and when I say bag full of goodies, is going to be winging itself to one lucky person who is watching live mm -hmm. right now. Well, not right now, but. Stay yeah, with us. Yeah. So for the, all of you who are watching, this bag of goodies, and I'm going to show you what you're getting. What do we have to do though, Craig, to be in with a chance to win it? So we're saying, if you go onto our Facebook page, Crafters Companion UK, yep. give us a like, give us a comment as well. It could be anything, let us know what you've been up to, what craftiness, give us a share as well. And then uh, those will be in with a chance to win. Yeah, what you're share with see. your crafty friends. Exactly. Share with people know. that, oh, you just think might be in with a chance to win some That's crafty it. goodies, get yeah. them into some crafting. Yeah, yeah definitely. Could be, you could share. be even just letting us know what you're crafting on at this very moment. You might not be crafting, but just give us a wee comment just to let us know. Have you all finished with your Christmas shopping? Oh, don't, oh, don't go there. No, no don't we'll talk about there. that later. No. Still a sore point. Still a sore point, <laughs> yes. But, but further ado, let me show you what we've got in this bag. Because let me tell you now, we have got a lot of things in here. So mm -hmm. first thing first, I'm going to start with some So Country I know. Zips. zips on a roll. Mm -hmm. And I said two, two pieces. These are massive. These go on for ages. So you've got ten sliders in there as well as your zips. So this is a little, a little start if you, if you want a zip. Exactly. Yeah. If you want a zip. If you want to do a bit of crafting with zips, because I like to craft with zips. Do you? Well, it's not something I've used a lot when it comes to my crafting, but you I've seen like things see yourself to and that, just to explode something. out or Have just a little, something a bit, yeah, yeah a bit a extra bit detail or texture. So shall I put them on? Like, the top? I tell you what, you hold on, you yeah. hold them up. I'll, I'll pass them over. <gasps> We've also got some of our eight by eight textures. My favourite cardstock. I yeah, this one. my favourite. One favorite. of Jan's Fusing as well. Jan loves yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. This is the pastel selection, eight by eight, and in here there's thirty six sheets of all this gorgeous. You can hear it. Call it. You can hear you it. Can do. Good weight stock. Really good. Uh, uh, Two thirty GSM. So great for your die. Shall I? Shall I have a dive in? Shall we show everything now? Let's Craig? Yeah, shall let's we, shall we show it. everything let's now? Let's do it. Let's show everything. Yeah, let's yes. show everything. So, my favourite. Your favourite. <laughs> One of my favourite glues. I call this chunky glue. Is that what you it's call? my little affectionate name for it. Chunky glue. Chunky glue. But it's not. Okay. It's 3D colour glue. And this is wonderful stuff for all your embellishments, mm -hmm. for decoupage. When you you love your decoupage because you love fussy do. cutting, don't you? I do. I absolutely love it. This is perfect. We know you love your foam pads, Craig. Mm -hmm. This is what I use. Yeah. This is my Although favorite. in saying that, when it comes to things like uh, adding your embellishments and things yeah. like that, ribbon bows or that, it's your uh, 3D glue gel that I, I use. And that's the wee pack that you get everything in it. You get the wee syringe in that in it as You well. do indeed. Now then, we've also got... <laughs> I actually, I didn't see them earlier. <laughs> I, I didn't see them. <laughs> Double-sided dies. Exclusive to us. Exactly. Double-sided dies. And this one is the Sprigs and Blossoms. But we're not done there. No. We're not done there. We're also giving you, and I think if I get this right, one of my favourites, the Cosmos. Cosmos. I know Fiona loves this she one. She does, yeah. Double-sided dies. If you've never heard of a double-sided die, or you've never seen this and wonder what we're talking about, it's a die that you can run through in one pass that cuts out two layers. Exactly. Not the same layers, two different layers. And you can get, create a flower with this beautifully and very easily. So I can't smart. believe we're getting away with that. And works great with Brand the new uh, products, eight by eight paper pads. I know they are. I know. They really are, yeah. I'm really sure. <gasps> great selection. Craig, have you been nosing as well? What's in here? Oh! <laughs> Aquatints. 
aqua tints. This is our aqua tints in pots. And this is the gorgeous falling leaves, those autonomous. Yeah. Autonomous? What's Autonom an autonomous? A new word. That's a new word. It's a, a new good word, word. I'm creating. It works. works for me. What, how would you pronounce it? Autumnal. 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 There we go. There we go. Pop that over there. there we go. So we've got the three of them. Oh, oh, we've got another Some three. more. Oh, perfect pastels. Yeah. Aquatints. There is so many techniques you're going to be able to do with these aquatints. So if you've, if you've ever used the pens, so mm -hmm. our aqua pens, yes. this is that version in a pot. 30 mils in each pot and each colour. Lots of techniques that you yeah. can check out. If oh you're actually goodness. after any pens, keep an eye out because we've got some pens coming up as well. And they're out. We've got more glue. We've got more glue we've as well. We've got more glue. So that's individual two. individual ones. Yep. So two glues in there. We, oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. The biggest yeah. ball tools you'll ever see in crafting are with our sponge for your foam flowers. Yeah. Not and just your foam flowers. I no, use it for my, no, my no, no. I know you. Well I knew you were going to say that. Uh, dimension that when it comes to the papers. But same foam flowers, Greg. Look at this. Well. New product as well. The lily and the clover that you can mm -hmm. use. So you could, if you've got some foam yeah. and you want to. These are the dyes that you're going to create absolutely. with. Absolutely brilliant. But so that's don't two more in there. Have the foam because they'll still work when it comes to do the die cutting with the flowers on the papers. And we're even giving you stamens, but and then, well, oh, oh, last two more. Wow, look at this. So, oh, wow. Tri -blends. tri blends. Two packs of tri blends. So look at all, all that that Craig's this. got in his hands. All this, of this could be yours today. It's our absolutely. festive giveaway. We've been asking for one for we a bit, have, Craig. We, really we wanted have. something really chunky to give away. And this lot could be winging its way to you. So make sure you like, yes. you share, you comment all throughout the two hours. And by the end, we will pick a winner absolutely. and then this will be coming to you. There we go. So while we, uh, you get ahead and you do that, you can also have a watch and have a listen as to what we've got coming up here on Monday Makers. Right, so first things first, we have got, oh, I love these, Craig, the clear acrylic stamps. This is a set, well, I say a set, there's loads of them, absolutely loads. £35 for the, oh, I'm so, oh, do you know what? I'm getting carried away myself here. Let me just get up here closer so I can see. Get any six, six. for £10. I will gain them weight, I will gain them weight, we'll the price then. You I will. think I will go for a Christmas bonus, Craig. Did you notice? So you can choose any six of these for £10 or $12. That's an incredible price, and I'm going to be showing you some of those later on. Then we've also got the Peekaboo stamp and die. So these are uh, relatively new as well. We've got these £35 here in the UK, £58 in the United States. That's a saving of 30%. Then something I'm going to be showing you later on on Monday Makers. We've got the Gemini Mandala stamp and die. So this is exactly that. It's the stamps. It's the dies at the exact same time. We've got £9 here in the UK, $13.50 in the United States. Saving of also 30%. Something else that I'm going to be showing you as well. So we have got the 3D embossing folders. We've got the Nate collection. They're all 5x7 and they are exactly that. They are 3D. £20.97 here in the UK. $29.85 in the United States. That's a saving of 25%. And then, you said you heard me refer to it slightly earlier on, both myself and Debbie is going to be using these across the next couple of hours. These are our Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens, where there's six in a pack, you've got a variety of packs to choose from. $19.99 here in the UK, $26.36 in the United States, saving of 20%. Now, if you uh, are unsure or unaware of how to order any of these things, go across to our website, crafterscombined.co.uk.com or .eu. Everything will be there. Of course, if you are watching on Crafters TV on our website, you can be watching us both while you shop at the exact same time. Now, you want to see what's coming up? Debbie's ready right now. Have a look at this. Peekaboo. Oh, get it, get it. Did you like that? A little bit of a throw there for you. Peekaboo stamps and die sets. Now I'm really excited to be to be actually bringing these today because these are the loveliest, cutest sets I think that we've done in a long while. And I really do think these are beautiful. So we've got a great price. I'm just gonna bring the price in there straight away. £35 for the whole lot. The whole lot. You are saving over a third today. And don't forget your Club Inspires on top. You get that on top in addition. So don't forget about that as well. So first things first, I think I'm going to show you the products. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do because I've got some boards with the products on. So I'm just going to move these just to one side. So I'm going to bring these over here just so that you can see them. Now, uh, ooh, let me see if I can get this better because I can see... 
I can see that my, my angle isn't quite right. There we go. Look at that. Like my magic is such a whiz, this Johnny. I tell you, he's really fabulous at this. Now, this is the peekaboo cat. <laughs> so you can see here, we've got a lovely die here with the cat's, the, uh, the cat outline. We've got the lovely word that goes with it. And this one is perfect. Notice that little play on words there. Perfect. And then we've got lots of stamps that complement this. So you are, have a birthday to me, friend. Thank you for being there. You make me every day. So literally you're going to be able to make anything you want as I say, but a perfect friend is a nice little sentiment in that in itself. The reason we call it peekaboo is because we've got the front part of the stamp and we've also got the back and I think this is incredible I love this stamp set these are really really cute now that's the cat so that's a peekaboo cat that's that one then we've got peekaboo dog so you can see let me just move these to one side so you can see those better there we go again lovely sentiment we've got the dog at the front we've also got the word this is friend this one cuts out perfect for your edibles because the outside edge just cuts out but that bottom one stays within its cardstock there and then we've got all the lovely stamps but don't forget you've got the front part of the dog and the back i think it's so cute i love 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 these now then also, you've got all these gorgeous sentiments. It means you can add a little bit of extra to it. There's even a couple of paw prints on there. I think this is lovely. And that one leaves a paw print on your heart. I just love that. That is such a lovely sentiment. So that's the peekaboo dog. Then we've got the bunny. So again, this is the word bunny. There's the die. And that's the lovely die, outline die of the bunny ears and its head. And then again, you've got that lovely stamp. So you've got the front part of the stamp with the back. <laughs> Just think that peekabooer element to this is really cute. And again, all these lovely stamps that mean you can mix and match these stamps to create different sentiments on there. So Bunny is worried about you. What a lovely sentiment when you're worried about somebody who's not feeling so well. Really lovely, cute sentiments there. Peekaboo bear. Look at that gorgeous bear. And again, his lovely, bear, his lovely backside there going off. I think he's so cute. And then we've got all these lovely... And I don't know if you've noticed. Let me just bring this back just for a second, just to show you. None of these sentiments are the same script. They're all different scripts, which again, I think is really versatile. It does mean that you can mix and match as well. Because don't forget, you're not choosing anything. You are getting the whole collection i just think it's incredible and that's the bear with the little hug word there but again like i said lots of sentiments on there so there's the bear the next one is baby a lovely one to have in your stash for all your new babies that you welcome into the world whether it be your kids your grandkids your friends kids oh there's just a lovely sentiment to use again so baby welcome little one and the same thing again with this gorgeous elephant the front part of his head there and then the back part to him and then the outline die with the word baby then, not to be outdone, one of my favourites, I love this one, the giraffe, peekaboo giraffe. Again, that lovely front part to him and the back part to him. I love giraffes. When I went to the zoo quite recently, that's the first thing I went over to go and see because I love giraffes. But look at this, wild about you. Oh, I think that's a nice sentiment. But again, another lovely different script there. Lots of different stamp sets. That means you can mix and match these in different words. Now, that is the whole set of those coming today to you for that incredible price. You're saving a third off today of the whole collection. Now, they should be £51.93. £35? You can see that saving. Think about if you are a platinum member and you've got your 20% off in addition to that, or whether you be a silver member, 10%, bronze member, five, you're going to get that included as well. So it's an incredible saving and a nice little, I think a nice little Christmas tree, treat, I want to call that a Christmas treat to you. Now I'm just going to pop those down there because I'm going to show you some of the samples and I'm going to show you another die that you can use with it in conjunction that we've got separately too. But I'm just going to show you these because these are so super cute now I'm gonna go that look at that <laughs> absolutely beautiful but do you know when you turn it round and let me just turn it round so you can see <laughs> I absolutely think this is so cute what a clever idea somebody really thought about this I, I love Lillian just a fantastic look I mean look mix it with your embossing folders we've got some embossing folders coming up later on in the show but again if I just show you the inside look at the inside <laughs> 
<laughs> I can actually imagine, you know, my little Millie when she was here, God rest her little soul, she used to get herself into all sorts of scrapes, getting on windowsills and things like that. She were a little monkey, she were. But again, look, new baby, look at this. And then when you open up the middle, we've got that other part to it there. But I just think, look how cute that is. These are so super cute. I've got a couple more I want to show you because I want you to think outside the box now with this one. And if I can get this picked up, look at this look at this oh look how cute a little baby mobile how cute is that i just think the design member who made this i think her name's wendy who made this one absolutely beautiful a little baby mobile but because you've got the front and the back part to it it just makes it really super cute so again think outside of the box i want to show you a few more samples because i've just had somebody whispering in my ear that they've sold out on the website already it says that it says that, but it's a little technical glitch. Those naughty elves that you saw earlier, did you notice where they were, sat in between me and Craig? Those naughty, well, those naughty little elves have been playing on our website. So just hang fire because this collection is available. It will be available through the show. So just bear with us. Just sit back and enjoy this. So I'm just going to show you a few more of these beautiful samples. I just think these are incredible. Let me get there, see if I can... Get your angle right, Debbie, get your angle right. But look, and then inside, just think they're so cute. This peekable element really is the most lovely. And you can use the back. You don't have to use the front to start with. You can use the back. And you can have him as he's looking on the inside of the fence. If we open this up, there he is, look. How cute. It just is a beautiful die set and a really cute collection. I just, I absolutely love it. I think it's fabulous. And I know that we, when, when this launched, our lovely Debbie brought this to the, uh, to, well, on TV, she brought it with TV. And it, it sold really well because it is such a cute little set, but such a clever concept where you can use the front and the back separately or together. Just a great little peekaboo element there. Right, so with that said, I do have another die, and I don't know if my gorgeous producer has got this ready to hand but this is one of the dies that you can buy with this it's separate to the collection so it's not within the collection but this is the window archers and it is a little cracking one to have to be able to use in conjunction with those dies but if you haven't and you can't you can use a craft knife if you want to use there as well but this is a lovely arch it's got an arched window arch window and a lovely square as well stop the press Stop the press. I nearly dropped through the floor. Then did you see the shock on my face? He's whispering in my ear, Debbie, you're going to get it. It's not separate. <gasps> That's amazing. Can you see what we've done? Christmas is fast approaching. I cannot believe I'm going to say this, but a week and two days to go, Christmas, the big man's coming. I can't believe that we're giving you absolutely everything within this set today. That just means it's an even more incredible deal because you're getting those window arches as well. Oh, I'm just so... I could, I could crush a grape. I'm that excited. That were an old saying, for anybody who doesn't know, that were an old saying back in the 80s, a, a little kid's TV programme. Right, zip talking, Debbie. Let's show them how they work. So I am going to make, now, I don't know if you know this, but our gorgeous Jan is going to be here. She's going to be welcoming him into the uh, baby club in the new year. I don't mean Jan's having a baby, but I mean that Jan is going to be a nanan. So a little baby. So I thought, with a little nod to the new baby that's arriving, I thought I'd do something welcoming little new baby to the world. So these are one of my favourite sets, like I've said, but I'm going to show you how easy they are to use. Now, first things first, let me grab my sets. So, so excited about the fact that you're getting everything together. I nearly forgot my train of thought then. What am I like? Now, I'm just going to explain as well. If you just think, oh, well, you know, you buy the set and then you've, you can't find this live to go back on, there is some instructions inside. So inside here, there's some little instructions on how to put it together and how to use it. So don't be worried if you do forget look inside i think that's a really clever idea and again some nice little ideas on how you use it and explains on how to use it as well so with that said i'm going to take my stamp because i love these stamps i think these are really cute i love that front and back element to it i'm going to grab my stamping mat just for a set i'm throwing all my bits around again oh <clears throat> i'm just going to please excuse me when you see how mucky my mat is i had to own up i dropped i dropped some ink on this on thursday 
So I apologise, but I know that I'm not the only one and I know full well that there'll be people laughing because they do things like that as well. I, and it just happened. So I, it so happened to happen to be live on air. Now, I'm going to use our lovely stamping platform with the stamping mats, albeit dirty. Uh, and I'm just going to take some ink to there. So if you can just see there, I've popped that onto the stamping platform. I'm going to take some ink and I'm just going to ink this up. There we go. Ink that together. And then I've got a piece of white card stamp. This is our stamping card stock, if you're wondering what I'm stamping this onto. But there you go. So you just stamp that lovely image. I love it. I just love that. I think it's so cute. Super, super cute. His little bottom there. Um, but now what you're going to do is you're going to just colour these in. But we do have... Now, let me just see if I can grab this for a second. You do have the die to be able to help you if you want to cut this out. So you can place that die around there. Now, I'm going to show you the ones that I have already coloured in. So I've popped the die around there and you would just run that through your Gemini to cut it out. But I've already coloured. If I put that there, can you see? I've coloured the front and the back. So that's the back. And I used our Spectrum Tri-Blends. Remember that giveaway? There's some tri-blends in there. So I use our tri-blends to colour that in, but that's how you would do it. And then you can just take your scissors to cut around the other edge there, okay? Now, with that, just going to put that to one side. I'm going to show you how you are going to... Let's just put that over there for a second and over there. Put that down there. I'm trying to be tidy because our Craig's in next. So what I've done is taken a piece of card, six by six, and I'm going to place on now the arch... So I'm going to take this lovely arch one, the, this one, I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to place that all onto my cardstock, just for a second, I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to then use the lovely um, outline element as well, just to pop that up, let me just pull this up there so you can see it, there we go, yep. And then also that lovely word die that's on the set, the baby. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to place that on there as well. So let me just get that into place there we are now i'm just gonna in fact just for a second let me move that onto one side just for a minute let me pop that there and i want to take my tape and i'm going to hold that down so take that up to the edge and just make sure you do use the low tack tape for this part okay so i'm going to place that onto there and then do you know what? I'm going to leave that actually because I'm going to squeeze that on. I'm just going to take that just there. You could, if you wanted, though, pop that on if you want to create the outline. But for this one, I'm going to leave it for a second because I am going to take the craft knife and I'm going to use this. So again, you could extend this if you wanted to place the eye up. You could do and then have it drop down a bit lower and just take your craft knife or your scissors. Uh, but I'm quite happy with that. And I'm just going to run that through the Gemini. So I'll pop that in. Oh, don't move, don't move. I have, oh, do you know, I've just realised the little faux pas. Hang on a minute. I'm going to have to tuck it under because I've realised I'm not using my big Gemini today. I'm using my Gemini Junior. So I'm just going to tuck my card underneath. Won't affect it. It just wraps around there. So I'm just going to take that through. And it just actually proves the point that you can use this. It's a, it's a little top tip and I, good to know that you can wrap it around the bottom. It's not going to affect it. So if I just place this now to one side, just put those down there. And then if I take this off, let's just remove the tape. There we go. And pop that off. And then I'm going to take that side. Let me move my word in as well. I'm going to pop that back into place because I know what I'm like. I'll end up losing it. And if I just place off that lovely arch, and don't forget you've got two on there to choose from. There's that um, the rounded arch one and then just that lovely, um, I want to say square. It's a square one. You can see it there. Now, you can see straight away. And do you know what I love about these as well? You can use these on the top of a card. Do you know for your edibles? Because it just stay within the cardstock. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to grab my craft knife for a second and my craft ruler. And I'm just going to literally loose, loosen that. So pop that in, take that knife, and I'm going to take that to that edge. Let's take that. And that should have just released that. There we go, perfect. So if I just take that out, and now if I show you close up, you can see that that's created that aperture and that word baby. There we go, perfect. Now, I'll just show you how I've quickly moved this on. <laughs> just so because I'm conscious of time while we're live but I'm just going to bring this up to show you I've actually put some cardstock 
at the back of there. Let me move this this way. Oh, one of these days, Debbie Robinson, you're going to learn how and where that close-up camera is. But you can see I've placed some cardstock over there. Now, to do that, I used, you, you can do it of two ways. You can pop it onto your card and run it through your Gemini at the same time because it will do it. The pressure of the Gemini will cut through your cardstock as well as your, as your paper. Or you can take your paper separate and match it up by taking your arch. Let me just grab the arch back off there again just to show you what I mean by that. You can take that and place that into place so that it will match when you when you line it up. I personally preference when I do it, whenever I do this, my personal preference is to pop the cardstock onto it and cut it through at the same time. OK, now I want to use the baby again. So the baby word I'm going to use because I want to I want to highlight that lovely word. So I've taken a piece of blue, obviously, Centura Pearl, because this is meant for a little boy that our little Jan's going to be welcoming into the world. Their lives are going to change forever with that gorgeous grandchild. So I'm going to place that over and just run that through the Gemini as well. There we go. Run that through. Leave that there for a second. <laughs> right, so if I take that off, the word now is just in there and I'm going to take my scissors, let me grab my smaller scissors for this one and I'm just going to loosen that up and cut along. I love this because it's got a lovely quirky sentiment to it as well. It's really cute but if you bring that out, you can see now, if I just poke that little one out, you can use that to then sit on the top of there and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my, and this is tacky glue that I've got in my little bottle, and I'm just going to place that over the edge. You could use any of your tape pens with the uh, tape pens. Yes, tape pens. That's the word I'm looking for. That's the word. And perhaps tape pens, because I think I've dried up in it. Let me just, oh, hang on a minute. Is it coming out? Yeah, it's coming out. There we go. So again, if you run your tape pen over it, I would recommend using the dotty tape pen for this one. Uh, just because it's a bit intricate and it's got some little parts that you don't want it to catch the glue on. So literally, I'm just going to line that up just over the edge and that creates that lovely baby but it stands you can see it stands out a little bit more there now i've now taken those do you remember the ones that i had colored in earlier so that's my little front part there can you see it and i'm going to put a little bit of glue onto there just get that on there and i'm going to place that over there now when i turn it around what I'm then going to do, and don't forget, you can use the die to cut out the top part. So let me just bring this back in so I'll show you what I mean. Let me put it onto this cardstock so you can see. There we go. You can run that across to get that outside edge, or you can take your little scissors and run that around as well. So I'm going to then place my glue, and this is tacky glue again, just onto the back. But you can use any of your chosen glue on there. And I'm then going to put him as though he's peeking through the card. There we go. Can you see? He's there with his little face at the front. I think these are so, so cute. I love them. I absolutely love them. And then I'm just going to add a couple of little florals just on there, just to decorate. And again, placing it on, I'm going to use, let's do a little bit of this one, a little, um, a little embellishment on there. Let's place that on. And then with that lovely stamp set, there is also welcome and little one. And I've put those two together. And I'm just going to place that on. There we go. Pop that on. And then last but not least, just add a little flower just onto there. And there we go. If I bring that up close up so you can see that now. There you are. Oops. I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place. There we go. You can see now you've got that lovely peekaboo element to that card with... <laughs> I think he's so cute. Now, I cannot believe the deal that we've got these incredible die and stamp sets on for you today. £35 for everything. And do you know, if I'd have just seen my picture earlier, I would have seen that my lovely frame is on there. What am I like? I get worse with age, literally. But look at that. There are seven 
if you think about it, seven packs there, you've got six of those lovely animals, each one individual, each script individual as well. And then that lovely word and the outline die as well to be able to create that peekable effect. You've seen some of the incredible samples, but look at this, what we're giving you today. What an incredible deal, 30% off, a real nice festive, um, a festive treat for you all. Uh, but what an incredible day to get this gorgeous collection. If you missed out when these were launched now is the perfect opportunity you can see what we've done with the price we've brought that price down incredibly low for you guys as a little little bit of a uh, a festive treat should we call it a festive treat to, today craig i think that's what we're going to name these now we've also got coming up and i know our craig's using these and i will be using some later on as well but we've got these gorgeous sparkle pens that are also on the show six packs you choose whatever color you want we'll go through some of the colors later i know craig's got his set and i've got mine but instead of paying 24.99 you are paying 19 pounds and 99p you're saving 20 percent off today so you can choose whatever color pack you like now how to order here you ask i know because everybody asks all the time how do we order you go over to the website so go over to the website www.crafterscompanion.co.uk for all of you lovely lot here in England and for every one of our gorgeous friends over in America it's .us I believe get that right no it isn't it's .com oh Craig Craig you could have helped me out there he's just sat there watching laughing his little head off he knows what I'm like so .com for all our gorgeous American friends and .eu for all our equally gorgeous friends in Europe as well. Go over there, you can shop and watch at the same time, but you can pick all the deals up, go over to the Monday Makers section and you'll see all the rest of the deals that's on the show. However, don't forget, you've just seen that great price that we've just add on, 30% uh, plus your Club Inspire. And talking of which, for those of you who've never heard about Club Inspire before, here's our gorgeous Sarah explaining a little bit more. See you in a bit. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership where you'll get 10% discount plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points you'll become a gold member which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order and will ship them to you completely free no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1,500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money-saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. There we go, so that's everything that you needed to know all about our Club Inspire, where the more you spend, the more tiers you go up, and the more discount you get.
Perfect. Great way to uh, to join in right at this very moment in time. Okay, doke. Right, let's move over to something else. We're going to move on to something that's always so popular here with ourselves at Crafters Companion. It is, of course, our embossing folders. And it's not just any embossing folders. It is, of course, our 3D embossing folders where one pass through the Gemini or any of your other die cutting machines. And what you're going to get is that multiple layered 3D look when it comes to all the details. So what we're going to do is we are going to demonstrate them, but you're going to see just there all your details just there. £20.97 in the UK for what I'm away to show you. £29.85 in the United States, saving of 25%. So what we'll do is if we go straight on, we'll show you exactly what you're going to be getting for these ones here. So I'm going to bring these in just a bit closer for you to see. And we'll show you in a wee bit more detail just there. So if I get rid of that glare, that way, there we go. So we have got this selection on these ones here. So they're five by seven. You're going to be getting all of them. So there we go. So if I bring that one in just a bit closer for you to see on there. So with that one there, we have got the uh, country garden on that one. And then if we move over onto this one, we've got the ornate lace. Remember, these are all five by seven. And then if we go on to the next one, we have got, as he throws it away, there we go. We've got the Regency swirls on this one there. And then last but not least, English Rose, look at that one. So you're going to see them in a wee bit more detail when I start to show you them. So you've got all these ones there, all four come together in the one set there for that same price, 2097 in the United Kit. So it should be here in the UK, it should be 2796 and you're now 2097. And then in the United States, originally you should have been 3980 and you're now 2985. That's where your saving of 25% comes from. Great saving there. So let's show you some finished samples, see what you can be doing with these ones just here. So on there, so this one, we've got the English rose. So look at all that detail. With this one here, you actually get the center frame in the middle. That doesn't die cut, that actually embosses on there. And then we can just be adding extra decoupage detail if you so wish. Just gone over a wee bit of gilding wax on that one. Then on this one here, we've also got the English rose on this one here. So we've even just bring in some of the elements and just start to paper piece them and start to do some folds to create our own flowers. That's the sort of thing. Even look at the two different colours ways. Same folders, but two different colour ways on that one there. Then if we go at this one here, we've got the Regency swirl on this one here. So look at that. That's doing your water, not your water, your, um, your pressing... I can letter press. I can never remember that word and that technique. Letter pressing on that one just there, bringing in a lot of different sparkle pens. So again, same folder on this one here, Regency Swirl, but look how different. Just bringing in some of your actual gilding wax on the top. Then what else have we got on a different one? Here we go. We've got Country Garden on this one here, straight onto black, but we've used our silver gilding wax. Look at all that detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt that forward so we can hope maybe actually we wear better the way it were. Look at all that detail. This is where the 3D dimension comes in. Look at that. Simply incredible. Certainly on the petals there. Another one from the Country Garden on here. Again, this is the letter pressing. This is doing the reverse side, so what would be the embossed side, so that all that ink transfers onto the other side. Bit more subtle, but it goes to show how different they are. Once again, if I just bring in side by side, Two exact same, uh, exact same folders, but two different looking designs on there, simply by changing the colour. And then last but not least, we've got on this one here, we've got the ornate lace. Again, simply stunning by adding some of your additional dyes on there. Exactly the same ornate lace, but look at this one. So what this has actually been doing is actually hand cutting out some of these elements just here. So if I bring this last one in, so if you can then just see see all these swirls in there, there we've got bottom corner there, we've also got the top corner up on there. So just hand cutting them out and creating your own flower heads in that if you so wish. It's entirely up to you. So that is your 3D embossing folders where you're getting all four of them, five by seven in size, 2097 here in the UK, or of course 2985 in the United States. If you are of course in Europe, all your prices will be across on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Right shall we crack on and uh, let's get out the, the sleeves are going up because we're waiting but get get a bit inky so what i'm also going to do is i'm going to be incorporating our uh, sparkle pens on these ones here so what i'm going to do again go into the website and go up to monday makers and everything that myself and debbie are showing you are going to be there on that page so for this one here i'm going to be using the teacup the magnolia and the macaroon so they're going to be in a selection of the sets that are on the website just there so what i'm going to do is if i start to bring in i've got some water just into here 
and I've also got my brush and we've also got some roll just to the side here so we'll get this ready. So what I'm also going to do is make sure my heat gun's ready so that I can dry that off. So what I'm just going to do just very quickly, because I've had these uh, sitting uh, for a couple of hours now unused. And if you can quite see by my hands, I have been having a wee play earlier on. So what you might find is, if you are lucky enough to win that goodie bag that uh, Debbie was showing you earlier on, the pots and the pens, it's like the same ink that's inside, but of course one's in a pot format, one's in the pen format. When it comes to the pots, you can do slightly more things, but when it comes to the pen, you can get all that fine detail in that as well. It still does incredible things. So what we're going to do is I am going to use our uh, water card. Uh, so what you can do is find all that, of course, on our website as well. Then what I'm going to do, so selection of cards, look, just right along the bottom, just there, we've got a selection of three for £10 on our cards and paper packs. So we'll go across onto, the, uh, onto our website, you're going to find it all on there. So what I'm just going to do, we've got the water going, and then I'm just going to use the paintbrush, and then I'm just going to go straight over. So straight over with the water, and we're just wanting to give that a good coverage, maybe just a wee bit more. It's our watercolour card, so don't be too scared. Then what I'm going to do is if I bring in, let's go for the blue, and I'm just going to just add a wee bit, a bit of a squeeze to get it going. And then I'm just going to leave it just like that, just very slightly. Then let's go for the next one. So we'll go for the macaroon. And again, I'm just going to give it a slight squeeze and just add that wee bit more there. And then next one here, we're going to go for the magnolia. And then I'm just going to go over the bottom just like that, slight squeeze and just going over. So what I'm going to do now is just picking up the paintbrush, just a wee bit more water. And I'm just going to go back and forwards, back and forwards and really start to blend these in. Go all the way back over them if you wish, start to blend them all in. And then if I just take a wee bit more there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the top and I'm just going to add just a wee bit more blue. Because this red's running into the blue, you're getting a bit more of that darker colour and I want to really keep it a blue towards the top. And I'm just going to go straight down. I'm just going to keep going straight down. Add a wee bit more water if I want. Dilute it a wee bit more as well. And then I'm just tapping some excess off just at the side there. And I'm just going to keep it like this. So for this one here, I'm going to go for a very subtle kind of uh, feel and look to it. So then what I'm going to do is if I bring in my... Uh, heat gun and just bring this to the side and then I'm just going to get the heat going and then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to start to just uh, just going to dry this out and just going to heat that just there so I'm just going to keep the tool going getting that heat as well so I just want that to dry that you could of course just leave it to uh, air dry if you wish to tell it to yourself but then even uh, things like this, once we're done, we are going to run them through the embossing folders. We're going to be doing different techniques that you can do with them. You know, once it's dried with the sparkle pens, there's so much that you can be doing. What we'll do is carrying on with this one here. Once I'm happy that it's quite dry, I'm going to turn it over just at the back. So what I will do is just pick up some of that excess just with my towel. You could be using that excess, I think, if I just plug this back in, plug's gone, there we go, that's us up and running again. So I'm just going to now just carry on just with the back there, just so we can get that quite dry. And this will make it easiest for, for us to do our techniques. Keep going, keep going, and you will find it will start to flatten itself. Turning it over again, and then as that starts to dry out, you'll see just in a moment that the paper will start, to look, maybe be able to see, there we go, see it's starting to roll back down back down into size, into shape. And then, once that's gone right down, I'll bring this a bit closer for you to see. And finishing off, I tend to stay in one area and then just move about. I don't stay in it for too long, because then there could be potential for you to burn your cardstock, which we don't want to do. So there we go, so I'm just going to finish this bit off just here like so so if i leave it just like that then if i bring this hopefully we're going to be able to still see the actual color and the sparkle just into the middle just here so if i bring this in i'm hopeful if i can try and get some of that sparkle coming through 
you don't lose any of it. I'm really good. There we go. So there we go. Look at all that sparkle, just that so you can see it glistening away just there. So even though we've done that technique with the water, you still get all that sparkle coming through. So there we go. You can then still, if you wanted to, if you've got your spritzer tool in like that, I'm just going to use my fingers, but we can still go back straight in just with the water. And then works better when you uh, it's still wet, but then you can still do it when it's the um, once it's dry and then you get more of a uh, subtle look. So I'm just going to add a wee bit more and then I'm going to just dab that off. Again, you can use your heat tool if you wish, but I'm just going to dab this off. Look at that effect already just there. Love that. So if I just get rid of this excess, dab, 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 like that. Then I'm going to bring that. Look at the perfect. Look at that. Look at that effect just onto there. So different just by what, uh, adding some water. It's kind of like a full uh, bleaching effect where what you're doing is you're actually picking up some of that water or some of that ink with the water and you're taking it away. I could the kitchen roll, but what you could be doing is using another bit of uh, watercolour card if you want. It doesn't have to be watercolour card. That obviously works best. But if you have your smooth card, so it could be creating all these different backgrounds and that. So I'm just going to let that dry. So as you can see, uh, you may think that I originally went with a lot of colour. You're going to see just shortly, one that I've done earlier, that I actually didn't go in with a lot more colour. There's one that I've prepared earlier, and I've gone really, really bright with the colours, and I'll show you that in a minute. So if I then bring this in now for you to see as well. So I'm going to bring this in just a bit closer for you to see. So you're going to see the effect with the water. Look at that. So that's the way it's kind of like the full, full bleach in. And then if I'm just going to turn that and so you're still, even then, you're still going to get all that sparkle coming through on it. I'm just going to try and catch that light so we can get that sparkle. There we go, just no more. There we go, we can see it glistening, just there, perfect. Just try to get that angle with the cameras and the lights, there we go. So what I'm going to do then is bring this one in. So if I bring in, so you can see just up above, so this is the one that I've just done there. Can you see on this one? Look at that one. I have really not taken any colour off. I've really kept it the way that it was. I've not done any full, uh, full bleaching effect with the water, but just to show you the difference, and then still stamped into the middle there. So that's the sort of thing that you could be doing. So if I leave that one, I've just done to the side because I've already stamped my actual uh, sentiment within the middle. So then what we're going to do is for this one here, I'm going to bring in my English rose folder. So this is the one that's got the actual frame within the middle. So we can see just into here. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to position this. So I'm just going to make sure that I can get it where I want it with the raised area. So I can see this side has got the raised or uh, this side's got the raised. That one's got the deboss. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to position it over. But then what I can do is I've got it cut to size so I can position that. So the folder in your cardstock is just aligned just perfectly. Then I'm going to close that. If I bring in my Gemini Junior plates, because they're five by seven, they will of course go through your actual Gemini Junior or any of your small uh, platforms, die cutting platforms. But for this one, because it's our 3D embossing folder, so it's our base cutting plate, and then it is our magnetic shim, and then it is our uh, plastic shim. It goes over the top, and we're just going to run that through. So if I move these ones out the way for the time being, and then what we're also going to do is that comes through in a moment, where then, if I then bring this in, I'm going to bring this in closer up for you to see, kind of like the reveal, because it looks incredible. So well, there we go. So if I then just open this up, and then look at this, look at this. Now it wouldn't be 3D embossing if I didn't add some uh, gilding wax on it. We've got to add some, look at that, look at that. Now that's without it. Now you can go straight over with your ink pads if you want. If you've got any of your Harmony uh, what reactive ink pads, you could be going over the top just there, anything like that. So if I lean behind me and I'm going to pick up, I've got my Gildan Wax, anything extra that you see myself or Debbie using, again, go across onto the website. You can find it all on there. 
So what we're going to do is pick these ones up and then all that I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to pick just a small bit up just within my finger. Now you can see we've got the Pebble Gildan Wax on uh, the show today on Monday Makers on your screen right now. The Pebble Gildan Wax 30ml in each pot. You've got five different varieties to choose from. 9.59 here in the UK. In the United States it's 13.59. Of course, not forgetting everyone in Europe, all your prices in euros will be across on our website. So I'm just going to just blend these in just with my finger and that's all that I'm just doing is just using my finger. Uh, what I do tend to use as you can see that I'm doing it onto my glass mat and that's what it's intended for. It's things like this you'll still be seeing me using our brown no, uh, non-stick mat which funny enough there's the cutting mat right at the bottom of your screen. So it was originally £21.99 here in the UK, £17.59 17 here in the UK. And then in the United States, you were $30.30 .30, and you're now $24.24. So great one just to pop into your basket as well. So there we go. So as I was saying, all these different techniques you can be using with your glass cutting mat. But when it comes to inking, this is where you'll tend to find me using our uh, brown non-stick mat. Just because then you can quickly pull it away and you can clean it up later. Just in case some people do ask, well, why do I sometimes use it and sometimes others don't? It's personal preference, simply that. One of those things where it's personal preference. So there we go. So if I just finish just picking up any of that extra detail all the way round. So that was just the, the gold. So if anyone's wondering, that one's the Empire Gold. So I'm going to bring this one in for you to see. Then we've got all that detail picked up. So that just goes to show you can still use your sparkle pens. You can still 3D emboss over the top. You can still put your uh, Pebble Gildan Wax over the top as well. You can do all these different techniques. Just one of many techniques. So let's then just close that one up. I'm just using obviously the gold on that one there. You could be using your bronze equally. You could be using your silver as well. So let's just start to clean that bit up and then we can start to assemble it. So what I've just done on this one here is I've just taken another bit of a background. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. I wonder if I have got, I was looking for, uh, me and Debbie have been having a fight over the watercolour card. Here we go. We've got some just here. So what we could do is just very quickly as well, I can show you. If I then bring uh, that one in, so I've got, let's just use the pen that I was just using before. And then I can also just use a bit of uh, the guillotine as well. Just use that just to cut down slightly. And it just goes to kind of show you how you can do, just in case you wonder what, um, how you do, the, do this one or do something like it. So we'll show you that very quickly because it takes no time at all. So then what I'm just going to do once again is if I just take my uh, cup of water and we're just going to just give that, uh, give your brush a good coverage, a good wet with it. And then we're just going to go straight over the top as well. So I'm just going to go straight over the top like this, straight on. And then give that a good coverage of the water. This is why obviously your watercolour card works perfectly for this one. And then all that I'm just going to do is I'm going to be using uh, the pens. We'll use the same colour that we've used. And then I'm just going to squeeze it. And then I'm just going to drop it. Look at that. See how it starts to... It's, it's like a, a wee firework. It just explodes. So I'm just slightly pressing and then I'm even just moving the pen just to start to activate that within the water in the bottom. So just a squeeze as well, just like so. Then we can keep going if needed. Then let's bring in this next one as well. So we're using again just the same three. So just a slight squeeze. And then I'm just going to just give it a wee flick each way. And then we can see, I'll just do the last one just so you can kind of get the idea. And the key is to leave it to settle. You can add some more water if you wanted to so that it can start to, uh, it's like it starts to merge into each other. But just let it settle. And then, even then, what you can do is, do I have it to hand? Yes, I do. Let's see. So I've got, again, this is just one of our Spectrum Noir Spritzer tool. You'll find across on the website. So I've still got a bit of water in here. So what I can just do then is I can just spritz with water and see how that just moves even more. That starts to activate it, it starts to move, and you can see how it starts to flow all the way. Down. It's like um, back in the, is it 70s, 60s, I don't know. I wasn't alive then, but um, what, what, what do you call it? You know when they've got the, 
oh, what do you call it again? Um, hippies and, oh, it's gone right in my head. You've got the tie-dye, that's it. Well done, Johnny, tie-dye. So that's it, you can tell that that's obviously Johnny's used to be wearing that sort of stuff. But there we'll go on that one just there. So that gives you that sort of idea. So if you just carry on, let it flow, let it just uh, mingle into each other. I've gone for real bright colours on these ones here. But this is just a slight idea as to how you can be doing all these different things as well. So what we'll do is let's just open up my kitchen roll from this one here and I'm just going to set this to the side just uh, I better not get any ink on the floor so we'll pop that there and let's get another bit of kitchen roll and then we can just start to assemble the card using the embossing folder that we've just done so there we go let's get rid of that pop all these just to the side there so just uh, before we carry on just finishing this bit here this is part of your uh, four pack of your 3d embossing folders they're on the screen for you 3d embossing folder ornate collection 5x7 2097 here in the uk 2985 in the united states just quickly look right down at the bottom so you've got your saving of 25 percent here in the uk originally you were 2796 in the united states you were originally 3980 so that's where the uh, saving of 25 percent comes from everything cross on our website .co.uk .com .eu. of course if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube thank you so much for watching us if you are watching on our website you're watching from crafters TV which means you are watching myself and Debbie while you can shop at the exact same time incredible incredible technology these days love it so let's carry on let's get this card finished and then what we can do then is we've already done this background bit here that we've already started done and completed so we're just going to add you can see just a wee bit of uh, matting and layering on these ones just here so let's then just bring in I've got my glue to hand so we'll use this one just what we've got this is where uh, I would tend to use our um, double-sided tape but because I've got the glues to hand and my tape is sitting on the desk we shall use this one so I'm just going to do the matting and layering. I absolutely love black. Black really makes cards pop. A lot of people can be scared to use black. Try not to be. Just start to incorporate it. Whether it's the colours like these, it could be yellows, oranges, anything like so. So I've kind of just lined that up just to the side there. I've got a wee bit at the side there. It's not really a big deal, but it will bug me. So I'm just going to trim that off. There we go. So if I get rid of these bits, just make that really small. So there we go. So your matting and layering, you know that I tend to use them as um, quarter of an inch increments, but every now and again, I do tend to make them that wee bit smaller. It's sometimes the smaller the matting and layering, the more it catches your eye. So if I bring in another one of these backgrounds that I'd done earlier on, we're going to pop that over the top. And all that I'm just going to do is uh, we do have adhesives on the, the website as well. Check them out, but of course, I do need my 3D foam pads. All these sorts of things are across on the website. Check them out. So let's just add some 3D to the back. Now, of course, you could keep this one dimensional if you want. I say one dimensional, but of course, even if you just use your flat layers of adhesive, like your glues or double-sided tape, you've still got all that dimension when it comes from your 3D foam. So it's not really just step 3D foam, 3D folder. It's not really one dimensional if you choose to keep the layers all on one level. So there we go. So if we then just peel these off and then we can start to assemble this just within the middle there. And we're just going to tape that down just like so. Then all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring you maybe seen or oh, maybe a few weeks maybe months ago we had some die packs where you could create your own ribbons in the middle so that's all that we've just done and bows there so all that i've just done is already pre-made one and then we're just going to add just a bit of our wet glue just to the side then we can position it in multiple different ways so i'm going to position it to the top so that we can see just like that so if i hold that just for a few seconds and then we're going to bring that in for you to see closer up. But there's a combination of using our sparkle pens as well as the 3D embossing folders, but then also including the Pebble Gildan Wax that is also on. 
So there we go, different layers. Of course, you would pop that onto a card blank if you so wish. But there we go, that is just one that's part of your 3D embossing folder. Five by seven, where you're getting the Regency Swirl, Ornate Lace, English Rose and Country Garden, £20.97 here in the UK. In the United States, you are, of course, 29.85, saving of 25%. If you are right, shopping from Europe, all of your deals are, of course, on the website as well, .eu. So, want to see what's still to come up today on Monday Makers? Have a look at this. We have got the, the clear acrylic stamp set. So you've got 80 to choose from. You have got any six for £10 or $12 in the United States. Individually priced £2.49 to 95 So this is where you're getting any six for £10 or $12 in the United States. You've got all these different ones to choose from. Right, then we've also got the Gemini Mandala stamp and dies. You are choosing from Harmony Cosmic, Chakra, Aura, Karma and Zen. They're a set of five dies and one stamp at £9 each. You are saving 30% off those gorgeous, gorgeous stamp and die sets. And then you've just seen our gorgeous Craig with these beautiful, do you know, I have to say beautiful, but I literally, one of my very favourite all-time embossing folders is in that collection, and that's the Country Garden. That one down at the bottom right-hand corner on your screen is my favourite, a favourite ever 3D embossing folder. And these are coming at an incredible price, £20.97. You're saving 25% off today. Then... You've seen our Craig using them. I'm going to be using them in my next demo as well. These are the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. Literally the most gorgeous, sparkly, glittery pens that you will ever use in your crafty life. I promise these are gorgeous. And these are £19.99p. Uh, you can choose from any of those sets that you can see on the screen. And again, they are incredible. There are so many wonderful, wonderful techniques that you can do with these. You can colour with them. You can make your backgrounds with them. You can do absolutely all sorts with them. Phew! Didn't right, go. I know you have been gone ages. I was, I was feeling a little bit like oh, I wanted you know, to burst into song. Do you know Celine Dion? Celine Dion, bit of a live. But yeah, no, all my, all by myself. Oh, all by yourself. Fact, I've been actually, to be fair though, I've been reading all your lovely comments. I know that's what I was We've doing had some beforehand. gorgeous comments from lots of people, mm -hmm. and a little update from one of our gorgeous de design team members, Michelle, has let us know that the uh, beautiful peekaboo die and stamp set bundle is now back on the website. Bah. So if you want to grab yourself that brilliant collection go over to the website now and check that out i know they are so, so cute aren't they so absolutely cute. oh look as if by magic craig it I know, appears I on the believe screen actually get all seven i thought it was just the six Me of too. the stamps did you, you did you hear me i nearly fell out I I honestly it will like stop the press oh you that are, one you're getting exactly. everything for you're that price everything. the gemini what an incredible stamps, price. 35 pound here in the uk yep 58 dollars in the united states so that's where your savings 30 percent and i thought that was good with just the six but you're getting the outline ones too. Me I think too. We're both shocked on that one, weren't we? Literally, super, super, super shocked. We were super, super, super shocked. Super shocked. Super shocked. It's a word, isn't it? it? Super it is. Well, it's our word. Definitely, anyway, it's that's our for word. Sure. It's our word today. Don't forget. I want to give you a little update as well because uh, that sharing, that mm -hmm. liking, that commenting for oh my god, Craig, I can't even pick it all up. Go. There we go. I let you hold it all. Look at all these goodies we're giving away no. today. Try blends. We've got glues. We've got aqua tints. That gorgeous technique you just saw Craig do. You can do with the aquatics. Yes. Literally, we've got zips on a roll, we've got flower foaming pieces of dyes and ball tools that you can use in, like you said, many a way. Oh, yeah, because absolutely. of all your flowers, your card flowers. Mm -hmm. And those will work just as well. Those foam flower dyes will work just as well with paper absolutely. and cardstock. Uh, we've got cardstock in there, we've got double sided dyes in there. Can't think what else, Craig. What else? The, the, you said the tri tri blends. We've got the stamens. I know, that I'm come looking, with the I'm flower, looking. Uh, form and foam. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you don't just have to use the stamens for no, the flower or no. the foam. What you could be doing is using them with your uh, paper craft as well. Don't forget, you know, if you've got our uh, watermark ink pads of that, if you've got any embossing powders, change yep. the colours. To be honest with you, why would you want to change these colours? Yeah, no, but you can no. do it. You know, you don't have to think that you just have to keep them exactly. that way. You can change them if you so wish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that down before so I don't forget, drop them. Keep liking. You've still got just under an hour. I yes. said just under an hour. We've got about 40 minutes. Like share 
comment away. Mm -hmm. Share to all your crafty friends. Share to the non-crafty friends That's in your it. life. But just get yeah. sharing because we are going to give this away live on this hour. And I can't it wait. As well. Can't wait. Oh, it's going to be so good. So good. Now, I think uh, what we're going to do is let's go over and we're going to do uh, one of our all, all our favourite parts. I know, can we see them? Pesky elves. Pesky <laughs> elves, I know. Look at them. Sat in the cup. Sat in the said cup. Yeah, yeah. The Sat crafter's the companion ambassador mug. Mm hmm Yeah. What does it mean, I hear you ask? Show. Mm -hmm. Show. 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 I've got a new word. Show. show. Many new words, eh? So. Yes. Yeah, so. What is a crafter's ambassador? I hear you scream down there. I know what a crafter's ambassador. You know what one I is. know what it is as well. So this is how you become a crafter's ambassador. What we do? <laughs> I thought. I thought. I thought. Uh, then it was just going to carry on there. <laughs> what we want you to do is we want you to email uh, your projects. You're know, primarily using our crafters companion products. Yes, exactly. Uh, it could be our uh, paper crafts. It could be our soft crafts. Anything yeah. like that. So what we want you to do is email a picture of them. A, a good sizable picture. I, I don't know anything about pixels and size and that sort of stuff. All I'm told is a good sized picture. Send yeah. that. Email that to us with your name and address. Uh, obviously, I know your address will tell us if you're UK, Europe, United States. But if you could just let us know in. Way. And even what would actually be handy sometimes is if you've put maybe the key elements that you've used, mm. um, just uh, sometimes for, for the guys if uh, they're unsure of that. But what you could do is email that to uh, ccambassadors at crafterscompanion.co.uk and then you might be like this next person and with a lucky chance. Do we do, do, we do a drum roll? Oh, we do, do a, a drum, drum, roll? drum roll. So, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, are we, do, are oh, we doing it? Have keeping you in mind. Right, oh, ready? Drum ready? roll. Here we go. This lovely lady. Somewhere ah. I'd love to go. Oh, I know. Texas, Texas, USA. This is Patricia Green. Look at that beautiful smiley face, Greg. Look at that. What I a know. gorgeous lovely lady. lady. Literally, Patricia, you are this week's Crafters Ambassador. Now yeah. then. Do you want to see what she's made? Yes, I Let's do. Have a look. I do indeed. Look what she's this made. Something I had on not that long ago. Look oh. at that. Look at the colour. I love those colours. Absolutely love those colours. Look at these. So you've got your, it looks as though it's some of the blue, the blue Centura Pearl. Then you've got also some of your silver. You know, we've got a silver glitter card, could be mirror card in there. Then uh, we've also got a selection <laughs> of different embellishments used within the storybook. I never down. even noticed that no, screen. I didn't, Did didn't, you didn't, notice that screen, Greg? Well, I noticed they it earlier on. They stuck a screen on, in here. I never even noticed it. Look how lovely Patricia's there in the background. Just this there. is coming and winging its way over to you, my darling. Over you don't get the, the elf. Texas. Well, Elf no. stays with us. We've got to keep these Although, little cheeky devils. You won't want one the of them in your life. You might, we might actually be sending them. I know, they'll be so naughty today. They'll be so naughty. Lots but, of gremlins. Yeah, <laughs> congratulations to yourself, Patricia. So you're going to get one of these mugs. And I say this time and time again, but it's because I mean it. We're not even allowed them. We no. don't have any of the mugs. They we are try. solely only for uh, you guys and girls that uh, the win and take part of uh, Crafter Ambassador. So there we go. So if you want to be within uh, your chance of being the next ambassador, then that is, of course, how you can uh, be with the chance of doing it just yep. get, picking out your project made from crafters companion and of course said uh, just email that across now something incredibly exciting mm -hmm. our sarah is in the building she's in the building because i saw her earlier she is in away. The building. she's in the building but she's going to be coming tomorrow you've mm -hmm. got a twice tomorrow but for this first incredible one at is it 2 p.m if i got this right 2 p.m yeah. in the uk, UK time, time. Uh, but we are, well, Sarah is going to be doing a live broadcast from the craft room with this incredible, yeah. incredible tutorial. Just check this out. So we had such an amazing time at Craftaganza this year. I taught hundreds and hundreds of ladies and a few gents how to do some phenomenal flower forming and have a go at doing these amazing little teacups. Now, we were chatting in the class and everybody had such a great time and learnt so much stuff. I thought, do you know what? Why not bring Craftaganza out to everybody else who couldn't make it? Now, when I did Craftaganza, it was a two hour class. I think I can teach you a lot of these techniques even through the medium of video. So what I want you to do, if you want to take part in my Craftaganza class, we can all do it together on December the 17th at 2 o'clock UK time, so 9 o'clock 
Eastern time so everybody can join in. Uh, we're going to have a go and make this together. So what you're going to need, you're going to need our flower forming kit. Now hopefully a lot of you are already have it. If you don't, we've put, in a, put an amazing starter kit bundle together so that you can get the starter kit, you can get all the form you need, the dies, the tools, the stamens and I'm going to walk you through everything. On top of that, I want you all to go and find a fantastic cup and saucer and a spoon and you'll need your glue gun to hand and everything will be revealed. How fabulous will it be to get everyone crafting along together, making this wonderful project together. It'll be like our version of Craftaganza, but right there in your home. So I'm going to look forward to seeing you all on December the 17th, 2 o'clock UK time. So that's 9am Eastern time and we'll be able to craft along and make this together. Hello there, and that I go, do you know, so I was joking aside, when we did Craftaganza, that was the one class that I wanted to do myself. I just think it's really beautiful, that cup and that saucer is an amazing, amazing tutorial. So come and join Sarah, grab your cup, grab your saucer, grab all your other bits, then bobs that you need to be able to create and craft along with Sarah live here in the craft room. You're going to be able to join us, so how incredible is that? Now talking of incredible, We've got some fabulous stamps that are off, on offer, and I say on offer, just check the price out on these beauties. These are our lovely, and I want to say, we were talking about this, me and Craig earlier, quirky. There's something very quirky about these sentiments. Do you know, sometimes having the best wishes and the with love and things like that are what we call sentiments that you need in your life but these are really 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 quirky and fun as well and that's what i've got on offer for you right now look at that price you are I can't I still believe this. You're saving yourself quite a little bit of money here so you are going to be able to choose from well the whole collection that we've got on the website and I'm going to go through everything with you in a minute but you're going to be able to choose six of these stamps for 10 pounds or 12 dollars. I mean what we're doing today, we're literally giving things the way to you. It's an incredible deal. And if you want something that little bit quirky, you now can go and choose what you want from this wonderful selection. So with that said, I have got some boards. Now, some of you have been shopping ahead already and some, it's just typical, isn't it? But there's some that aren't there, but I am going to show you some boards because I want to show you what kind of stamps and what kind of quirkiness these are. So I'm going to place these onto my mat and I'm going to ask for our wonderful camera. Oh, look at it. These are so fun. These really are. Look at this one. A lovely, beautiful scent. We're laughing about this with Craig earlier. Life is not a fairy tale. If you lose your, sh your shoe at midnight, you're drunk. <laughs> I have to chuckle to myself because... I can relate to this and I'm pretty sure there's plenty of you out there that are exactly the same. We've got you don't have to be perfect to be beautiful. What an amazing sentiment that is. This one, and I, I laugh at this because literally this is my family. Remember, as far as anyone knows, we are a nice, normal family. <laughs> I hope my family are watching because they'll know what we mean. We could never call ourselves normal, all those Robinsons and Suttles, but literally, what a great sentiment that is. I absolutely love that. If that were one I was choosing, that'd be going in my basket. We've got here, a woman is only helpless when her nail polish is drying. <laughs> again, that lovely quirkiness to it. This one, again, look at this. Chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands. And I know that that is relatable to so many people. I love that one. Now, unfortunately, this one I'm going to have to cover up because you've already beaten us to it. Literally, you've been buying that one, so I'm covering that one up. You can't have a look, uh, but I'm going to look at this one. We had a laugh at this, me and Craig. I won't be impressed by technology until I can download food. This is Craig. This is Craig. Could you imagine? Absolutely love that one. One of my favourites. Again, a balanced diet is a cupcake in each hand. <laughs> I just think that's cr cracking, cracking, quirky sentiments. And then, how do I like my eggs? In a cake, duh, 
<laughs> I just think that's so, I just love it. I think they're really, really funny, these stamps. And I just think something a little bit different, something when you pop them onto a focal part of your card, whether it be on the outside. In fact, you know what? I'd be having these on outside. I won't be having these hidden inside. But these are really fun, funky ways of using these. Um, inhale confidence and exhale doubt. What a lovely, lovely, gorgeous sentiment that is. Definitely inhale the confidence and exhale any doubt that you have about yourself because you are all incredible, beautiful people. This one, go make a fairy tale and go live in it. What a, I just, just think that's adorable. Definitely, definitely a lovely sentiment there again. Now, this one here, I adore this one because you've got two choices and this can be applicable to whoever it is that you want to send it. So, to the world, you are a mother but to family, you are the world. I love that one as well. That's fantastic. But you can substitute the word. So to the world, you are a father, but to your family, you are the world. What a gorgeous one that would be as well. Absolutely in beautiful sentiment. And another one that I would be sticking in my basket if this was me choosing any of those six for £10. <laughs> You've got this. You certainly have. You've got this. Definitely. What a great sentiment that is. And then this one here, you will be exactly as happy as you decide to be. Now that, I love that quirkiness of that one, but that is a fantastic one then. And then the best way out is always through. What a lovely sentiment. But then I'm going to have to cover that one up, guys, because you've better to it. It's already gone. And is there any wonder it's gone? It's because it's such a popular one. So while these are on this incredible price, make sure you go over to the website and check out what it is you want because these are not going to hang around at this incredible price today. Now, the next one, it's the little things in life. Now, that could just, it just about sums up everything. But that one, I love that one as well. So you can see how incredible these are. They're all in great, really great fonts as well. Nothing's the same. They're all different fonts in there. They really are the loveliest, quirkiest stamp sets and sentiments that I think you will be able to use in so many ways. And with that said, I'm going to show you some of the incredible work that our design team have been doing with this as well. I love this one. Got to give a shout out to our lovely Linda for this one. Just look at this one. <laughs> I actually thought when I was going through, I thought I were in luck. I've got a chocolate bar. I've got a bit of chocolate. Nope, no such luck whatsoever. But look how incredible that is. That is truly fabulous. I love that one. So let look at this. <laughs> get off, get off, get off. <laughs> it's not real, it's not. <laughs> but it looks real. It just, honestly, we, uh, we were up. There's some chocolate in box, Craig. Nah, we got we got a bit carried away there, we did. But what a great way of using it. So, Linda, thank you for that one, because that's fabulous, that one. Now, the best way out is always through. Look at this one. Again, really beautiful. Debbie will get the right way. Look at that. Now, these, you can you think of all the things that you have in your stash. Think of all your florals. Think of your foam flowers. Think of your double-sided dyes. Think of everything that you have in your stash that you're going to be able to use these sentiments. I mean, look at this one. That is just incredible. And that's using that stamp, what's got the mother or the father, and she's just taken it in a different ink and coloured that, uh, stamped that in a different colour to be able to add that incredible detail. There's just so many wonderful stamps. I want to show as many as I can, if I can get it right angle. Debbie, get a grip. But look at this, my favourite. I love that, Sandra. <laughs> The cupcake, a balance, I love it. A balanced diet is a cupcake in each hand. Love that one. Now, I'm going to have to move that one out of the way. But this one, <laughs> I'll keep laughing at it because it truly is my family, this. I love that sentiment. It is fantastic. And then that lovely, a woman is only helpless when her nail polish is drying. <laughs> I just think these are really fun. Look at this incredible one Mel's done with the sunshine and that beautiful sentiment on there as well. There are so many ways. And look, being a focal part of your card, how incredible do these look? And then one of my personal favourites, I love this one as well. Look at that. Inhale confidence, exhale doubt. That's what we should all tell ourselves when we are doubting ourselves. We don't need to. And what a great sentiment that is to send to somebody. It just is. 
a really quirky sentiment stamp set but you are getting these at this price today you are choosing what you want i'm not telling you what you've got to have you can choose what you want you've already got on the website and checked out a couple of them because they're not there anymore so don't forget go and have a look at them six for ten pounds or twelve dollars an incredible price plus your club inspire on top off there as well Whew. right so shall i shall i tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do i'm gonna use because i saw craig with sparkle pens wanted to wrestle him to the ground because I love sparkle pens. Now, one of my favourite techniques, and I know great, we talk about great minds, let me just talk about this. Great minds think alike, me and Jam, we, we, do, we always used to say it's right spooky because we worked at Chesterfield together for so many years and we we're you know, on, on doing everything for the store and be demonstrators. Uh, but yeah, at the store, we used, to, we used to create things and we go away with the same set of dyes and then we come back with the same things. It's just, it was like, almost like a bit spooky. And you know, last week she did a demonstration that I'd already planned because I thought I was doing this on Thursday, got a bit confused with my dates, Christmas, that's what I'm blaming, grey matter, all that kind of stuff. But I was, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to do a bit of sparkle pen and she bet me to it, last week she did it. But I thought I'd show you it again because I love this technique with the sparkle pens. Craig's just shown you two great techniques. There is, oh, there's hundreds. There's hundreds of techniques you can do with these. From colouring to uh, background washes, bit of faux bleaching, salt techniques, bubble wrap, natural sponges. Always looks a great one with sparkle pens. But there's so many ways you can use. But I'm using cheapest chips shaving foam. And a little tray that I've pinched out of Crafty Fairy's cupboard. I promise Crafty Fairy, I will replace it nice and clean. Just in case you're wondering. There's a few things tipped up on your desk at the minute. But, serious aside, bit of love to our Crafty Fairy. She's not feeling very well, so get well soon, my darling. But yes, so I will pop that back in there for you. Now, I've taken some watercolour cardstock. I've got some of my pens here and I'm using from, I've got the floral garden one because I love these techniques. So again, great price today. These retail at £24.99. You are getting these for £19, 99p or $26.36. Whew. Right. Would you like to see this technique? Cheapest chips. I want to tell you now, don't be going out. In fact, if you've got a hubby or a dad or whoever uses shaving foam in your house, don't be using the best expensive stuff. Go out and buy yourself where you can pick them up for about 90p, pound, less than a pound. Go and get a cheapest chips shaving foam. Get yourself a little tub. Although you can do it straight onto your glass mat. Let me just tell you about this gorgeous glass mat. You could put it straight onto there and you could do it straight on there. Just, just get, gets a bit messy. That's why I'm using a box. Oh, I bet you're thinking, Debbie and mess? No, never, never. Right, so I've given it a good shake. Now I'm going to give it... Oh, watch it, watch it not come out now. I've given it all that shake. Let me just get me, hands. oh, it's been in my car for a few days. So it's a bit, oh, look, I just love shaving foam. <laughs> shaving foam's in there. Now I'm going to pop my shaving foam lid back on. I'm going to take some of these gorgeous colours. Let's have a look. I love that pink. Love that orange. Yeah, love that. Yeah, love that one. Love the yellow. So I think I'll have a bit of a mix. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let me get... <laughs> Just bear with me a minute. I saw it a minute ago. Got me bone folder because I just want to smooth this out a little bit. Oh, it's like, I feel like I'm baking. <laughs> right, so let me get this onto there. There we go. Now, I promise I will tidy up. I do promise I will tidy up. I think our Craig will be thinking, look at mess, she's making, look at mess. So, giving him a good shake and I'm just going to drop in a few drops of colour. And don't forget, you've got this sparkle in a pen. So you've got that lovely ink in there and the water. Don't forget it's a water-based product, so it means you can do all sorts of techniques with this. Uh, but you've got that beautiful, fine, mica-fine glitter in there as well. And let me drop a little bit of purple. Should just drop some in there, a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not going mad. If you've noticed, I'm not going totally mad, chucking loads of that down. Uh, what colours have I used? Oh, I've used this gorgeous pink as well. So let's pop this on here. Oh, now then, anybody having trouble on the website earlier with all those glitches? They've all been fixed. Thank you very much for your patience. You have all been wonderful waiting away there. Now, let me think. Did I use the orange one or was that the... Let's have a look. Oh, no, I didn't use that one. Oh, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll have that in as well. Right. Have I done? Yeah, I've done. Now then, grab yourself your pokey tool or the bottom end of your brush whichever is your preference i like a pokey tool for this bit uh, but you can use a cocktail stick or anything like that and then you're just gonna have a bit of fun so literally 
Du, du, du. You're going to make little swirly patterns all the way around. If you didn't see this last week, don't forget, Jan used, I think it was, was it Aquatints I lovely Jan used last week? I'm trying to remember now. So, yeah, but just think of all the things that you can use with this, with all our inks that we have. Oh, I love this. I could, play, I could play with this all day. In fact, you know what? Joking aside, I do make lots of backgrounds, completely make backgrounds, loads of them. What did Craig do with that roll? Greedy devil. He's nicked it all onto his side. Let me grab a piece of tissue. But, yeah, I, uh, I make lots of backgrounds, and this is what I do. So whenever I want to die, die cut or anything like that, I've got some backgrounds to hand, and what a fabulous way of doing it with this. Now that's in my pot, so now I'm going to take my pre-cut and I've got on here, this is watercolour cardstock because this works beautifully with watercolour cardstock and I'm just going to press that in onto the top. Now if I lift that off, oh I said I weren't going to get mucky Johnny. <laughs> I said I was going to protect my gorgeous nails because I'm going out for a birthday party tomorrow. However, never mind. Now then, looks like a bit of a blob at the minute. Look at that. However, when you take, now again, just take, do you know the best thing that you could do for this actually? Oh, I wish I'd got it with me. Oh, I ain't got it with me. Do you, know your, do you know your cards, like your credit card? Well, I won't use a credit card actually. Chain ride. Do you know those shop cards that you get? Loyalty cards. Those kind of things work perfectly with this technique because you want something to be able to scrape it off. I'm using this so I know I'm going to get mucky. I could have done with my phone, but I've left it in another room. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is just scrape that off. And when you scrape that off, you can see beautifully. Now, like I said, credit card or a bank card. <laughs> Maybe not one that you're using. <laughs> But all those loyalty cards that you find in your purse and you think, oh my days, now, you can see now that lovely swirly pattern is on there. Now, I don't know if you can see close up, if I go in really close, can you see the sparkle? The sparkle on there is incredible. I'm going to keep it there till you can see that. But that you can use and make your own background. What you keep on doing, because don't throw this away. Don't think, oh my God, that's it. What a waste. Oh, no, 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 no. Get your pokey tool. Give it another swirl around. Give it a nice big swirl. Add some more colour if you want to add a bit more colour. I'm quite happy with that. Um, now, if I just pick another piece of cardstock, pop that down again, and then lift off, you can see again, we've got another little bit of a swirly mess, but when you scrape off, and I love this effect, this is one of my favourite techniques ever, whether it was a sparkle pen, but rest assured, if you use one of those lovely flat cards, that you won't have to scrape off as many times because it'll come off in one go. But let me just show you now again, you've got another background. It's, it's like marbling, but not with the expense of marbling. Do you know those marbling kits? Not the expense of that because you've got your sparkle pens and these will go a long way and all you keep doing is keep using that beautiful sparkle pen technique. That's just two. I can carry on with a lot more. Just keep adding more to it if you want to add more to it. Make the most of that shaving foam. That's why I tell you cheapest chips shaving foam is always one of the best and only a few drops. But you can carry on taking your tool and giving it another swirl around and you can keep on going. You can get loads and loads and loads of backgrounds from one application of shaving foam with a few drops of sparkle pen. I mean, how incredible is that? So we talk about sparkle pens being really, really versatile. They are. You can colour with them. You can do your backgrounds with them. You saw our Craig do that gorgeous wash. You can splatter, you can salt technique. You might have seen all the other guys use the salt technique. Bubble wrap technique, sponge technique. There's the list is, oh, you could go on and on and on with it. Literally, I promise I'll keep that down there for a minute. Just to be out of the safe side. Let me grab another piece of kitchen roll. And let me just wipe this up. Oh, I did say I was going to behave myself and not get mucky. Eh, never mind. Now then, choices, choices. Which one do I use? I think I'm going to go with that one. I like that one. So let me now take stamping platform. So I'm going to put my stamping, well, <clears throat> mucky stamping platform. Let me turn that that way so you can't see that disgusting dirty muck there that I have. Now let me choose. Oh, what stamp shall we use? 
Oh, and I tell you what, <laughs> I think I might use that gorgeous family one. I love that one. <laughs> I just think I, this one for me is one of the quirkiest stamps ever. I love it. Absolutely love this one. So I'm going to use this. Now, these are acrylic stamps as well, which means, again, you, do you know what you could do? You could use your sparkle pens. You could colour your sparkle pen over there and stamp with it. I should have done that. What a great idea. Acrylic stamps. Now, what did I do with my stamping platform? Stamping platform, Debbie. Craig, did you pinch it? I'm just going to borrow yours. I put it back. I put it back, I promise. So I'm just going to place that onto there. Let me just line that up so I have got that really nice and central. And I'm going to take my ink pad. Whoops. I found my stamping platform now. I just hid it under some things. So I'm going to take my stamp there just onto there and then I'm going to stamp this design just in the middle. There we go. And all the way around. And you can see, remember, as far as anyone knows, we are a nice, normal family. Because we are. We are a nice, normal family. Who wants to be now, I've taken a bit of cardstock. I'm just going to do a little bit of matting and layering. Uh, what did we do with the glue? Let's pop this in the back. Now, literally, these quirky stamps are probably the fun stamps that you've probably seen in a long time. They are they're, they're different. There's the stamps with are different. And you know what? It's nice to be different. I love anything that is slightly different. I just think it's... Uh, just one of those things to have in your stash when you want to have something fun, when you want to have a, a sentiment that's not normal, when you want to just, in fact, when you just want to add something, I mean, look, I've not really done much for this. In fact, I'm not going to do any more than that because I'm quite happy with my background. I probably would have added a few little, um, few little gems or sparkles, but I am quite happy with this. Let me just see if I've got my camera right there. Am I right? Yay! There we go. And again, it's just something that's really just a fun way of using these stamps and those gorgeous sparkle pens. Let's not forget the incredible value we've got on these sparkle pens today. You saw our Craig do that beautiful water, that lovely wash of colour. You saw him do that lovely drop with into the water. You could drop these directly onto cardstock and, and, and give it a little bit of a squirt with water. Again, loads and loads and loads of ways that you are going to be able to use those sparkle pens now we've also got on here today you've just seen me with these beautiful and i mean beautiful quirky stamps they are fun they are funky they are quirky and you are getting these today for six any six you choose what six you want for uh, 10 pounds or twelve dollars you are going to be able to choose what you like from those so again an incredible saving and really fun fun ones to use now i'm not going to be finished because these are back on the website i'm not finished yet look at those these are our gorgeous peekaboo stamp and die collections you are getting the entire collection along with that lovely frame for 35 pounds you are saving yourself 36 sorry 30 percent sorry 36 i'm getting a new word there craig again <laughs> so but 58 dollars or 35 pounds now again i've got a little nod to these beautiful 3d embossing folders these are our popular our most popular our most loved 3d embossing folders ever You've got the country garden, you've got the ornate swirl, uh, sorry, ornate lace, 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 new words again, Regency swirls, English rose, and my favourite ever country garden, I love those. Look at that price, £20.97 or $29.85, you are saving 25% plus your club inspire in top. Now, I am now gonna oh 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 hang on a minute. I was just gonna hand over to our lovely Craig. I was grabbing I was grabbing me drink because he came in and fetched me. Bless you, didn't you? I did. Because my throat's starting to go a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit under the weather. It's diluted lime juice, by the <laughs> way. It's so absolutely it's delicious. Right. It's, it's right. delicious. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. It's just what what the vocal cords needed. So I'm gonna go in and rest up, I think. Mm -hmm. Johnny, can I go? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. While I leave you with our gorgeous Craig, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go and sit down and have my little drink. Yeah, next yeah. door, you're not, not going, going home. No, I'm not no. going home yet. No, no. Not yet. He's saying he's not, he's not going home. No, I know. Not yet. I promise, not yet. <laughs> not yet. In a little short while. So I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of our gorgeous Craig. And I love these. I'm so I good. I love these. They're so good, aren't they? I'm a little sweet. bit envious because I adore these. So, yeah, so few things that we can enjoy be Craig for this next section. Aw, oh, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Righty, oh, so we've got right on your screen right now. We've got the Gemini Mandala stamp and die set. So you're going to see you can choose from the selection, obviously, on your screen. Just very quickly as well, in case you wonder with all the details running along. So we've got right at the top there that tells us what it is. So today we're, of course, Monday makers. Then we've got the description just down at the side, just here. Now, what we can do is, of course, you can go onto crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or d.eu and you'll find everything under Monday makers. However, if you want to go straight to a product you see that code just right there you can see my hand doesn't go quite into that type that in and the selection and the options will come up so you can go straight to a product if you so wish we've got in this case it's going to be the gemini range then we've got the prices as well so we've got just down there nine pound here in the uk thirteen dollars fifty in the united states then we've got the original price as well as the percentage off and of course anything extra that would work perfectly we've got on uh, this occasion we've got the rocker blocks we are of course using the stamping platform however the rocker blocks work just as well again it's another another one of those it's personal preference so just in case you wonder what any of that is for that what is that is what it's for there we go i think uh, debbie's uh, words are uh, running off on me there so what we can do is we can crack straight on here so this is all about the mandala uh, stamp and die so we've got six to choose from let's go straight in and show you the idea of them so what we've got on these ones just here is if i do that flat so we can see so what we've got is we've got the actual stamp here so this does the whole stamping in one so in this occasion it's the aurora but then right down at the bottom we have got a uh, multiple different sizes of dies so in this occasion it's one two three four five uh, die sets on this one here or five dies so what actually happens is each one can overlay onto the design so you can either die cut all the layers out to create your own 3d decoupage if you want you could do alternative ones you can create frames shaker cards anything like that we will show you in a bit more detail just coming up so that's the whole idea of course you can use the stamp on their own you can use the dies on their own but they do work in conjunction with each other so remember you're choosing from uh, any of the six i'm going to show you so on this one here we've got the cosmic on this one so again same idea but they're all got different designs on them great as well if you like to do your entangling or colouring you still use your sparkle pens on these ones as well we've got the dies down at the bottom then here we've got the zen so very nice relaxing design within this one here a lot of sharp edges as well as uh, curved edges to this one and then you've got the coordinated die as well then on this one we've got the uh, the karma on this one here so again a bit more detail when it comes to the stamp this is actually one that i'm going to be demonstrating with so we've got uh, a few different dies in here at the bottom great one if you want to use on its own for a flower you could be using that because that center one is a separate die so then moving on we've also got the harmony so again a bit more of uh, wider spaces larger spaces to color in you can still be using if you've got a spectrum noir pencils anything like that you can be using them and then going straight on we've got the uh what now how do you pronounce that chakra chakra on this one here it reminds me of an old-fashioned old style uh, christmas decoration you know the ones you used to hang from the roofs on that one certainly ones that my mum used to hang up years ago when i was little so we've got these ones just well again you could be using the dies set on their own if you so wish so there we go that's the six to choose from nine pound here in the uk thirteen dollars fifty in the united states incredible where in the, each one you know the dies are the range from maybe uh, four or five maybe six dies in them but in each set you're getting that full stamp as well as the alternative dies uh, or complementary dies to go with it nine pounds here in the uk thirteen dollars fifty in the united states of course everyone across in europe yours are all on the website so we'll show you just a few ideas as what can be made with them and then we'll get cracking so let's look at this one here so this one here is actually using white embossing powder something similar that i'm going to be doing but i'm going to have color with mine including the actual um sparkle pens again but look at the height and dimension you can get onto them by die cutting multiple layers on their own so that's the idea of course that could be all just one dimension if you so wish bring in the color so look at this one just here if i open that up it's actually been stamped onto acetate it's been colored and using our glue pens and then we've popped some of our uh, 
glitters within the middle as well. So that goes to show, and then the frame has actually been cut out using the outside die. What about heat embossing again, but just using the stamp on the one layer, creating a three, uh, well, it's kind of like a 3D, but it's 3D dimensional because we're stamping off the page on there. Um, what else have we got? Different styles that I can show you. Again, mixing and matching when it comes to your actual stamp as well as your die. So you can be multiple layers on the top just there. You can see all that height that you've got. A few more. What we've got? Look at these ones here. So this is where we have used in the middle, so we have used that full stamp on this one here, and then we've die cut using the larger die, but look at these ones here, so we've actually stamped it, and then we've used one of the smaller dies to die cut one of the layers, and then also with the medium one, so all the dies actually mark the individual size stamps within the design. So many smart things you can be doing with this one. So I think what we could do is if we have time, I'll maybe show you a few more samples at the end, but that gives you an idea as to what could be made using these stamps and dies. So what we can do is, I'm going to actually, just look at that as well, what about just popping them onto any of your wee tubs or containers of that, a nice wee gift you could be creating as well. So something else to show you. So what we can do is let's bring my set in to the side so I'm ready to go, but I'll just bring the karma because that's the one that I'm going to be using. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the sparkle pens again and I'm just going to do a wash, it's the same as what I'd done earlier on because I like that flea free flowing movement when it comes to the actual background. So what we're going to do is I'm using, on this occasion, I'm using the sea spray and then I am using the cornflower blue. So both of the, the blue feels to them. But what we'll do is we're going to be colouring in, kind of doing our own bit of uh, faux bleaching. So let's just give that a nice coverage of water again on this one here. Check out YouTube because there's so many techniques and demonstrations on there for you to follow when it comes to our Spectrum Noir sparkle ranges as well as so much more. So there we've got, I'm just going over straight to the top. So you can see on your screen as well, I'm using the sparkle pens, a six pack, you've got a variety to choose from. 19.99 here in the UK, 26.36 in the United States. So let's just give this just a wee bit of a shake. Let's give them both a shake at the same time there. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to start to the top. So if we go, let's start to the top with the, look at that, I've gone straight over already. So I'm just going to give that just a bit of a squeeze and we're just going to go straight over. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go straight over, maybe just about halfway down with the deeper blue. Let's even just, let's go on for a wee bit more colour to the top just there. Then once again, just using our uh, brush and we've got our water and I'm just going to go straight down we're just kind of blending that in the blend beautifully go back over you don't have to go back to the top and work your way down you can go straight back up again like that and I'm just going to keep going back and forwards you can if you want add more color it's entirely up to yourself and then I'm just going to go straight over a wee bit more of the water and we're just bringing that down. So it's the same kind of technique as I'd done earlier on. You could be using the shaving foam technique that Debbie just showed you there. That would look incredible or uh, water resist, any of these different techniques. Then what I'm going to do, if I set that to the side at the moment and I'm just going to bring in some kitchen roll, any of this part on here, the waste, what you could be doing, actually, let's show you that as well. Let's just show you, have I got a bit of, so this, uh, we've got a bit of scrap water, right? well it's not actually scrap, but it's sitting at the side. So what we can just do, is we could go straight over onto our glass mat and pick that up. Or of course, although we've already watered it down, what we can just do is go over with our spritzing tool and then we can start to just pick this up so we're not actually going to have any waste from our ink. So I'm just going to go straight over onto the glass mat and then I'm just going to start to pick that up picking up all that excess like this. So this is our watercolour card that I'm still using. Can you see that effect that we're starting to get already just there? So keep picking them up. If you've still got this excess just here, keep going straight over just with your spritzing tool and just pick up any of that remaining colour. So we're just going to go straight over. Then you could be drying it off. Now look at that. So that real nice icy background with this one here. It's like the mountains, isn't it? Bit more of a marble effect as well. Dry that off, stamp onto it, die cut it, emboss it. All these different techniques as well. So let's move that one to the side. Any of that excess we will just wipe off. Then what I'm going to do, bringing in the heat gun again. So let's just dry that off using the tool. So I'm just going to get that started. Let's just move that up like so. And then what we'll do is we'll show you the sparkle. So with these ones here, it's the two sparkle pens that I use. This one, I believe, was from the 
I'm sure this one was from the, if I believe correctly, it is from the uh, spring summer. So just putting that heat over the top just like so. So as I just add in that heat to it, and then all that I'm going to do at Coastal Cottage. I've just had a look at Debbie's pack at the side of me. Coastal Cottage, these two colours are from. So there we go. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's not really going to be a spring summer uh, kind of feel to it, is it? But you know, you never know. You never know. So all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to carry out. I'm not wanting to just like, as we would say, waft it about. I want to kind of keep it still and I'm just going to move it about. As it starts to dry, now I can see from my angle, I know you can't quite, but it's starting to just dip slightly. That's normal, that's okay. That's just drying it out. And then once it's kind of gone flat, I'm going to turn it over and just dry a wee bit from the back. So I'm going to be using just shortly our stamping mat and platform, which anything extra like that you'll find on the website. However, you can alternatively use what is our rocker blocks. So we've got 50% on the rocker blocks. You'll see them along the bottom of your screen. It was originally here in the UK, 1998. You're now 9.99. In the United States, originally you were 27.98, and now you are 13.99 here in um, in uh, dollars. So there we go. If you do want to go straight to the rocker blocks, you can see your recode there at the bottom. But alternatively, just go onto our website, have a look at Monday Makers, click on the link. And uh, everything that myself and Debbie have shown you, plus so much more, will be there for you to purchase. Don't forget everything that you purchase, whether it's Monday Makers, Craft Cart, uh, anything like that, they will all go towards earning your points for your Club Inspire. So there we go. If I just finish that off just like that, then I'm going to bring this in and I'm hoping we can get another good angle with the sparkle. So let's go a bit closer up for you to see. So there we go. So I'm going to dip that and then well the, you can see a bit of the sparkle coming through just there i'm just trying to get that to pick up pick up i don't you to be scared to think that you're right uh, because you're adding waters to them you're going to get any of that less sparkle it's absolutely full i'm going to tip it that way see if i can maybe just try and we've got a glance there there we go look at that absolutely gorgeous so there we go we've got that one just there so then what i'm going to do next is We've dried that off. I want to make sure that it really is quite as dry as possible because uh, what I'm doing, there's actually two ways of doing it. I'm kind of doing it the back to front way, but story of my life. So what I'm going to do then is if I bring, now did Debbie put my stamping platform back? Did she? No, probably not. No, no, you're right, Johnny. Probably not. Um, so we can, let's just, let's just use the extra large one. It will still work, but so there we go. So let's have a look. No, no, it's not about, not about, no, no, no. Right, you know, this will still do. It's no problem at all. So let's bring in our stamps. Then there we go. We're just going to peel this one off. And then I'm going to go straight over into the middle. And I'm just going to place that on just like so. Then what I'm going to do is I bring in, now I'm just leaning over and I'm going to bring in, so this is our watermark by Spectrum Noir, so it's our translucent clear. So this is where you could be using all of your embossing powders that we're going to use, funny enough. Now really, I would suggest do what I'm doing at the moment. Now, our uh, watermark uh, ink pad is, uh, I'm saying ink pad, but our watermark pad, bottom of your screen right there, translucent clear watermark, 4 99 here in the UK, 7 95 in the United States. So as I was just about to say, ideally what I would do is do the stamping and heat embossing first and then go over just so that you know that it really is fully dried, but hey, we'll just go with it. So then all I'm going to do is position that where I think and then I'm just going to stamp. I'm just going to press, really press on this one just here, like so. So let's press that on and then we're going to move that out of the way for the time being. Let's just bring in our cardstock that we used earlier on because I'm going to bring in some of our white. So this is why you would want to kind of do this technique first because if this background, if this wash isn't fully dry, then your uh, embossing powder is obviously going to stick to it. But let's just go for it and let's just see. I think it will stick, but hey ho, let's just go for it. And let's bring that in ideally. Oh no, we're not bad. We're actually, we're okay. So there we go. So let's just get any of that excess on just here. Let's just shake this off a wee bit more as well. Let's just bring that on. 
tip that on and just fill the edges. So then, if I then pop that back into place, like so, and then bringing in that, just make sure the lid is on. Then there we go, so we can see there, we've got that white outline of the powder. So again, what I'm going to do is bringing in our heat gun. And what I am just going to do is I'm just going to wait. So I'm just going to go over one point. So I'm just going to go right to the top just here. And then I'm just waiting for that to turn. Look, you can see that turning, absolutely incredible. This is one of the techniques that no one ever gets fed up of seeing. I absolutely love this. I especially love the white. We can see how that's changing already as soon as the powder melts. Don't waft it about, keep it in the one place. You can see there, I could have done with just picking up a wee bit more of the powder, but we're just going to carry on. And then what I'm going to do is just working our way along. Once it gets going, you start to see that it just follows all the way around. So we're just going to finish this one off, just into the middle there. And again, this is where, uh, now that I've done the heat embossing, then you could come along and you can then do your wash over the top just there, like so. Then what you can do is bring in some more water. I'm just bringing in one of our small brushes just here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the centers here and I'm kind of it's going to be picking away at the color. So it's kind of flow, flow bleaching. So I'm just coloring these in, just selected areas. I'm just picking away that color. So I'm going to be making it lighter. So we're just going to pull that away. So just picking up the colors all the way around. And I'm just using the kitchen roll just to dab this off. So I won't go through the whole lot, but I will do quite a few, well, a few of them, a few as, as well as the small individual parts on the outside. So you can kind of see how you're just pulling away the color. So this is what's called um, the faux bleaching, different, uh, ter not terminologies, different techniques where you can incorporate flow. Fo that's a mouthful, isn't it, on a Monday? Faux bleaching. So there we go. So what we're going to do is if I just finish this last one, like so, and then I'll bring it in a bit closer. Uh, I can see someone just laughing out the corner of my eye just there. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just Then made me laugh. what we can do, so we can see just there, and then what I'm going to do is you can see how you've started to get that actual, um, so you can see on this side here, we're just pulling away the colour. But then what we can just do is go in the opposite way, and I'm going in with the deeper one here. So this is the cornflower. And again, you could be picking out individual detail and just add an extra colour. Because you've done your heat embossing on it, so that outline actually, it kind of creates a, a resist. So it actually doesn't stick to the outline. It resists it. So what we can do is just carry on, and then you can just pick out individual bits. Now when it comes to my stamping, you know me by now, it's stamping uh, techniques and that isn't something I do a lot, but when I do do them, I like to go around the outside with maybe a brown, uh, brown pen or that. So it kind of gives you the idea as to the way that it's coming along just there. And then uh, true Blue Peter style <laughs> here, we've Aww. done this one just here. So in the center, we've pulled away that color and we've added some of the deeper color. We're still getting that white outline all the way around and then I've just gone with a deeper shade all the way around there. So then all that you would need to do is just do a bit of matting and layering onto the front and then there's a card, maybe a wee sentiment just in the middle or the bottom and then that shows you how you could be using them. Very quickly, just to show you as well, so if you were to stamp them out, so they are, just imagine for a second that's the whole stamp design, using all these individual dies what you can then do is come along and then you can then just die cut out all these individual bits just there. So we've got all these individual ones, so you can just layer over the top, you can die cut them, you can add height to them, you can create frames with them, you could create, if I go back to this one, we could create shaker cards with them. So many different ways and things you could be using them. So that's just one of them, the Gemini Mandala Stamp and Die Sets. You've got the six to choose from, £9 here in the UK, thirteen fifty in the United States, and that's your saving of 30%. I love them die They're sets. So they smart. Also, they're versatile. They really are. Because you've got those dice to be able to create all that. But I love yeah. that. And you can't really appreciate it because um, 
literally the the sparkle is like proper it's, shimmering it's so away. It's so hard to see it over it, the it's screen. It's so hard to see it on screen, mm -hmm. but those sparkle pens, but that's beautiful. I love that. It's, but it's nice. like you just said, do a few layers and you could layer up, have exactly. a bit of decoupage. These are really great, great, yeah. um, great die sets. Thank you. Yeah, they and really a great, are. A great demo as yeah. well. Oh, lots you. of yeah. love. There was yeah. lots of love coming uh, forward. Yeah. yeah, but there was lots of love for you as oh, well when gosh, uh, yeah. I was through there. Appreciate it. A lot of people loving uh, watching us when we're on together. It's, really it's nice. nice to work together. It's, nice. it's lovely. It is. It's lovely it to is. work together. It is. Because usually either you're down at TV and I'm up here, yep. or we're away to do oh, a swap. Yep. I'm away down to TV <laughs> over the next couple of days. <laughs> you're here. So uh, yeah, it's, it's fun when we do get to work together. It does. Love it. It is. It is. Now, mm -hmm. there's a couple of prize, couple, I say a couple, couple of prize draws because I've got the winner for our giveaway. We do, yes. I've got, I'll, I'll announce that in a moment. But first, over on our, so, is it the So Inspired, so inspired. page? Yeah. We have a, we have a, pro, well, we had a prize draw, can't take credit because we didn't do it. No, I know. We, but well, look at the Royal Wii. Uh, the Royal Wii, yeah. We, there was an incredible prize with the Builder Block, is that right? Mm -hmm. Builder Block and the Alphabet and Number Set, yeah. which was a, a great giveaway. And we've got a winner we that we're announcing right now. We are. So are you ready to announce it, Craig? Here we go. Congratulations and double day. Congratulations to yourself. You are the winner of the Gemini Builder Block Alphabet and Number Set. If you can then email your uh, name and address, you're obviously all your details, prizes at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Look at that. Now that That's small bit of sewing I done a couple of weeks ago with yeah, Bernie, I am absolutely just blown away at how, look at that. Is that kind of like patchworking? And, yeah, and yeah. Well done, Anne. Yeah. What an incredible prize. Oh, you are the winner. So I good. hope you're watching. If you're not, and any friends of Anne's are watching, I mean, we will put it on. Yeah. We will put it on the page Absolutely. as well, and we will announce it on the other page. But if you are watching today, and well done, I that's know. amazing. Well done, so good. So, and we've yeah. got a winner. We do. You can do. I, I, I know. Do I know. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm so excited, and I hope you are too, because loads of you liked, loads of you shared, loads mm -hmm. of commenting, lots of love hearts, and everywhere else, back and forth. But we do have a winner, and the name is, and I hope you're still watching. Julie Selden. Wow. So Julie, Wait. you are the winner of that incredible giveaway prize. So if you are still watching Julie, congratulations. Congratulations. Because it is an incredible giveaway. We were blown away when we saw what were in that bag. Yeah, um, really. Normally we do like a few odd things, but that is a proper, what I call a proper Christmas giveaway. Mm -hmm. So with our thanks, Julie, thank you very much for commenting and sharing and liking and everybody else Absolutely. who took part. Trish. Thank you yeah. very much. That's incredible. Yeah. So Julie, name and address tell them that you were debbie and craig's giveaway prize winner and de email all your details to prizes at crafters companion is this one dot com, dot com. Dot com. So, Julie, that's important. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Email all your details and we'll hopefully get those to you. We'll try before Christmas. We will try. Mm -hmm. But if not, Julie, they'll be winging the way into the new year that's to it. you. Absolutely. Okay, so it well done. Do. Now, right here. Oh, I so know. I know. I can't believe the time's gone. We didn't even get Blizzard. time for Crafty Wars I know. today. Well, not this time. We'll leave you in because suspense. we had so much things to show you today. So we had to work. Uh, we had to drop something, something today. Had to go. So unfortunately, something had that. to go because there's so many great deals. Forty-eight hours to get these deals. Check the website mm -hmm. out. Go and check over what it is that you liked. What it, what it is that you can afford to get while they're on these amazing deals. So check that out. However, yes. However, tomorrow. Tomorrow. The boss is back. The boss twice. Is, yes, twice. Double dose of our gorgeous Sarah. So the, mm -hmm. we've got the tutorial. Yes. The Craftaganza tutorial. That gorgeous flower forming floating teacup. <gasps> I Looks said incredible. that right. You God, said it right. I said it right without getting any mess ups. See how I let you say it. <laughs> I know you did. And then she's back again at seven pm mm -hmm. uh, for Cartload. Cartload. We've That's had Sarah one. in. Normally it's one of us doing I know, it, but we, exactly. thought, we thought we'd let her have a little go yeah, at doing just it. Just this once. Yeah, you know. just this once. Just we thought give we'd her a let her have a go. So, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to join Sarah, come and join Sarah tomorrow for two two shots at seeing her mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow. And then we've got on Wednesday, we've got the fabulous uh, Creative Cravings. Now it should have been with the gorgeous Craig. However, he's going to Telliland. I'm going to tell you so, a wee bit about that just before we finish. We've got... Debbie Fisher, mm -hmm. and we've got somebody else called Debbie Another Robinson. Debbie. Yeah, two, two Debbies. Debbies. Two double Ds. 
Ooh, Never mind the two Ronnies, two, the two Debbies. Two Debbies, the two Debbies. So come and join us at 4pm for Creative Cravings on Wednesday. Now, be so good. you did say, Craig, what did you want to say, my yes. darling? So I am back here in the UK on uh, Creating Craft on Wednesday and Thursday. I'll be hitting, going down the road tomorrow. See, because I'm still in the middle. I'm still getting used to what's up and what's down. Um, so what we're going to do is on the Wednesday, I am already, well, I've already done like a wee uh, mention on my Facebook page. I'm going to be on with a foil press. I love that. We have got the savings of up to 60%. Press. Now, if you've got, if you want to see anything, now so many have already put on my page and I'm going to incorporate as much as I can. Um, if there's any specific you want to see, then head across to my Facebook page and just write on my wall what it is you want to see. Um, of course, we're all on Facebook and Instagram, so go and give us all a wee like of that. Anything specific you want to see. I I am going to do the waist technique. I have got a video on my Facebook page and I am going to use the uh, large uh, Gemini extender plate with the Ooh, large fabulous. Gemini. I am fabulous. going to use that. That's something yes. that so many have wanted to see. We're hoping to have it back in stock, yeah. but I will at least uh, use it for everyone that's already got it and want to see how it's properly used. So we'll be doing that as and well. And guess who else is going back to TV? I know. Leanne. She's Thursday going night. back. Thursday night, she's going to be there. Thursday night, doing a two-hour launch of uh, some of our gorgeous ink pads. So, well. yeah, our lovely Leanne's going to be there. And then, uh, well, I'm going to take over Leanne You're on Friday over. and Saturday. And then Jan's kicking in Sunday and Monday. So, mm -hmm. it's full on. Full on full it is. On. <laughs> so, now, yeah. we are having a Monday Makers next week. Just so you let you know, we are here for Monday Makers next week. Even though it is Christmas, you have me and a few other little surprises as well. So, we just want to say thank you very much for taking thank the time so out of your very busy lives to come and join us for these shows. We love doing them. We love doing them. And yeah, big thank you to me because this is my last live before Christmas. This is my last one. So, thank you so much for all the support you give all of us. But, of course, uh, the support that you give uh, myself when it comes to the lives, I really appreciate it. I have an absolute blast working with the company and working with you guys. I absolutely love it. So I hope you all have a great Christmas. Yes. And uh, yeah, I, would, I believe I will see you before the new year, but not before Christmas. No. So all it leaves us to say is thank you very much thank for watching you. and we'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.